Hi guys! So, sorry I've been missing again. Um, I'm probably always going to say this whenever I do a video, but, you know, that's life. Um, basically I haven't been doing a video because I've been working and I had three tests on Tuesday and it's Thursday, so I've recovered and I no longer have a ton of work or studying to do for now, so, um, I thought I would do this. I actually did a version of this video already, however, I was really, like, messed up in it. Like, I couldn't remember anything, I didn't know what I was going to be saying or anything like that, so, I'm redoing it. Yep. So, um, in this video I'm going to talk about the program I did this summer. It's called SMDEP. Um, it stands for Summer Medical and Dental Education Program. It is a free, free, six-week program um, that's held in the summer. And there's like 12 national sites. I'll put the link to the national um, website in the sidebar. And you can go check it out. Um, it's for, it's for, if you're currently a freshman or sophomore in college, you can apply for it. Um, it's aimed towards underrepresented groups in medicine, but um, myself being a white female, I'm not necessarily underrepresented unless you consider females underrepresented. But yeah, um, but it was a great experience. I absolutely loved it. I would recommend it for anyone who can do it. Um, but like I said, yeah, it's free. Um, most of them I don't think include travel but you can get like scholarships for travel or travel stipends. Um, I in particular went to um, the one at University of Virginia. They all had different dates so like you can't like just be like oh well there's specific dates you have to pick one and there's like specific dates for them but mine was like May 30th to July 10th. Um, we received a $1,000 stipend to help with travel, food, or whatever, but I probably only really spent like 500 of it, and then I spent the other 500 on myself. Um, and basically what you do is, I don't know about other ones, I don't know how different other ones are, but the general idea behind them is that you take um, courses and stuff to help just kind of like give you a stronger background in your sciences and give you a better idea of what the uh, medical career is all about. So how our program worked is we, for pretty much every day during the six weeks, we had um, like some science class in the morning, whether it was biology, chemistry, or physics. And sometimes we had one of those classes in the afternoon. Um, but they alternated days, they weren't like every day, but we did have like a science class every day. And it's not like, it's not like you get graded on it, you don't get credit for it, it's just like this program where you can take the opportunity to learn more about something you don't know that, know that much about. Um, or just to reinforce things you already know. And then in the afternoons, they had like guest lectures, we would sometimes have, um, we would sometimes like go places. We had like clinical experiences, but the problem, the thing I didn't like about this program was that and again, I don't know what it's like at the other sites, but Virginia's oh. HIPAA is really strict, and they're not, they weren't really willing to let us, like, go throughout the hospital. Like, we took classes, like, in the medical school lecture hall, um, and we weren't really allowed to, like, go into, like, the places. The only thing we really saw was the radiology department, which was really, really cool, um, but we didn't really get to see anything else. Like, we went to a nursing home, and we talked to some senior citizens. Um, we, anesthesiologists came to talk to us, a primary care doctor talked to us, a hospitalist talked to us, um, and, like, the, path the pathology people talked to us, so, like, we saw, like, body parts and stuff. We also got to go into the anatomy lab, which was awesome, we saw cadavers and stuff like that, um, and we went into the medical simulation lab, which was really, really cool, um, they have some really cool simulators and we, they turn some of them on and they just showed us how they worked and stuff like that. It was really, really cool. Um, but like, just aside from the general like, learning about the medical field, maybe like, it, it can also help you discover like what field maybe you're interested in. We didn't get exposed to all fields, but they generally had someone talk from every field. And um, 
they also had people who struggled through medical school so it's like well like what if like a lot of people wonder like well what if i get to medical school and i start like failing and they had people come in and talk about what like if that happened to them and stuff like that so that was cool um but the biggest thing that i liked about um this particular program at virginia was we developed personal statements for medical school applications so I'm already like probably ahead of a lot of people in my who's going to be applying to medical school next year because I already have a rough draft of my personal statement and I already have tips on how to edit it I just have to go do that it's been like two three months and I haven't gone back to it but I have time um and in addition to that we just I really enjoyed meeting people from other schools and other places around the country who were doing things similar to me and like comparing and contrasting their experiences and I mean you really do find out that pretty much everyone has a similar pre-med experience like everyone's bogged down with their science courses no one really like like it's not like I found like certain areas of the country found organic chemistry easier or something like that like everyone struggles with the same things but it was also interesting to see how like curriculums vary like you know like like, I know our organic chemistry curriculum is weird because we take it in between two semesters of general chemistry, but, I mean, whatever. But, yeah, it was just really cool. I made some great friends. I keep in touch with my friends still. Um, and, like, you also get to take field trips. Like, it's not just, like, work. Like, you work, like, you, like, you, we were literally going from, like, 8.30 to, or 9 to, like, 5 pretty much every day. But, you know what, like... It was a great experience. We had access to the um, medical library, so like in your free time, you could just go sit in there and read stuff. Like I learned some general. I know I learned how to read like a heart rate off an EKG just because I picked up a book about it. Um, but yeah, so like it was just a great learning experience, and we got to take field trips. We went to um, Monticello and Kings Dominion, which was included in the program, and then a bunch of people took other trips. Um, most of us went to Washington, D.C. for uh, 4th of July, which was great fun. So, um, that's pretty much all I had to say about it. I'm running out of time anyway. It's already been seven minutes. Um, but if you have any general questions about it, feel free. Um, I would do it again if I could. I would highly recommend it because even if you don't really learn anything from it, it's just a great experience overall. Like, I don't really know that I actually learned that much at it, I except for getting my personal statement, but, like, it was just, it was an overall great experience, and I couldn't be happier that I did it. So, that's my spiel about SMDEP. Again, the link is in the sidebar. Go check it out. And, um... I will hopefully be back soon with some other updates. Okay, bye.